Hello everyone, myself Dr. Suresh and in this video, I will be talking about the metabolism of aromatic amino acid tryptophan. So, in our previous videos, we have discussed about the phenylalanine and thyrosine and the third aromatic amino acid here is tryptophan which is essential and glucogenic in nature. Right. So, essential to say uh, what is the functional group here it is having indole ring as like uh, phenylalanine and uh, thyrosine they have benzene and phenol groups. Okay. So, here it is having uh, there is a extra five membered indole ring attached to the benzene ring. So, as it is uh, essential, we have to talk about its degradation only, how it is catabolized in the body. Okay. So, while catabolizing, so what are all the important products will be forming from the uh, tryptophan? It forms alanine, which is glucogenic in nature, estracyl CoA, ketogenic. So, uh, small correction, tryptophan is glucogenic as well as ketogenic. So, when it forms alanine, it is glucogenic and when it is forming estrogen coa it is ketogenic. So, it is contributor of one carbon unit formal through formal group and it forms one of the coenzyme B3, niacin and uh, NAD+, happy hormone, serotonin and uh, pineal gland hormone, melatonin and hydroxy indolistic acid which is a hydroxy indolistic acid which is an excretory product of uh, tryptophan and indican is also again a excretory product so we'll see how tryptophan is catabolized sequentially so there are two pathways based on the products it is diverting so first we'll see tryptophan so what is happening here there is a opening of the ring to form n formal kinurinin tryptophan pyrolase so tryptophan is converted into n formal kinurinin so there are two pathways one is kinurinin pathway one another is nadp pathway okay so, two pathways simultaneously taking place. So, kinurinin and then NAD plus pathway. So, when tryptophan is converted into N formal kinurinin, so there is a requirement of tetrahydrofolic acid to form formal tetrahydrofolate to form kinurinin. Okay. And from this kinurinin, again there is addition of hydroxy group to kinurinin to form 3 hydroxy kinurinin. This 3 hydroxy kinurinin converted to 3 hydroxy anthranilic acid. It will take out the alanine from 3 hydroxy kinurinin, this alanine enter into gluconeogenic pathway and this kinuraninase is the enzyme which is PLP dependent. Okay, and from this hydroxy anthranilic acid, there is synthesis of NAD and NAD and then uh, NADP synthesis. So, now we will see the further catabolism of this hydroanthranilic acid. So, this hydroxy anthranilic acid is converted into NADP plus pathway and is converted into amino carboxy mucinaldehyde. By removing carbon dioxide, this amino carboxy mucinaldehyde converted into amino muconate semialdehyde. And by removing amino group, it converted into keto adipic acid. Keto adipic acid is converted into esterostyle CoA and it will be entering into ketogenic pathway. Right. You see here two substances main thing to form kinurinin from kinurinin to hydroxyanthralinic acid. And hydroxyanthralinic acid will be going to estrogen CoA formation and NADP formation. So, two pathways kinurinin pathway and NADP pathway. So, tryptophan has got two fates. One is kinurinin, other is NAD plus pathway. Okay, and this kinurinin finally converts to acetoacetate ketogenic and while middle itself it will form alanine in making of 3 hydroxy kinurinin to kinurinin this alanine entering into gluconeogenic pathway so tryptophan to form n formal kinurinin there is requirement of molecular oxygen the enzyme is tryptophan pyrolase or tryptophan dioxygenase it is a hemoprotein induced by corticosteroids induced by dietary tryptophan okay tryptophan pyrolase otherwise tryptophan dioxygenase so which is a heme containing protein you can give example for heme containing protein tryptophan pyrolase it is induced by corticosteroids okay and also induced by dietary tryptophan whenever there is a high quantity of tryptophan the genes starts synthesizing this tryptophan pyrolase so here kinurinin converted into 3 hydroxy kinurinin and uh, here this xanthurinic acid you can make it in urine and here because of the deficiency of the kinurininase okay because of the deficiency of kinurininase which is again a plp dependent enzyme in case of vitamin b6 deficiency there is no conversion of 3 hydroxy kinurinin to 3 hydroxy acid for uh, nadp uh, synthesis or nad pathway 
okay so what happened there is accumulation of three hydroxyquinurenin and this three hydroxyquinurenin converted into xanthuronic acid and excretes in the urine so the deficiency of vitamin b6 or the enzyme quinurinase leads to accumulation of three hydroxyquinurenin which converting into xanthuronic acid and excretes in the urine and finally you have already learned there is formation of alanine which is glucogenic and further degradation of uh, quinurinin to anthrolinic acid anthrolinic acid to estoestyl coa which is a ketogenic so here first we discussed about the quinurin pathway now we'll see how niacin i mean vitamin b3 will be synthesizing from tryptophan so the main enzyme here is phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate prpp so the hydroxy anthrolinic acid whatever is forming okay converted into quinolinic acid and quinolinic acid to niacin or nicotinic acid here the donor of prpp what to say quinoline phosphoribosyl transferase takes up the phosphoribosyl group okay and forms nmn nicotinate mononucleotide and this nmn nicotinate mononucleotide with the help of atp again it will take up the what to say amp and it adds up to form uh, desamido nad plus and again there is a requirement of energy by breaking uh, atp to amp plus ppi and glutamine the donor of amino group to convert to glutamic acid to form nad plus so this way NAD is synthesizing. I mean, niacin is synthesizing and coenzyme NAD is also synthesizing from tryptophan. So, to synthesize 2, 2 mg of NAD, you require 60 milligrams of tryptophan. So, again, here, what happened here? You see, in case of quinurinase deficiency, 3 hydroxy quinurine cannot be converted into 3 hydroxy anthrolinic acid. So, if the, it is not converting to 3 hydroxy anthrolinic acid, this cannot form nicotinic acid and NAD. So, here, 1 vitamin deficiency leads to other vitamin here it is b6 plp is b6 vitamin and nad is b3 so as b6 is deficient so you cannot able to synthesize b3 so one vitamin deficiency leads to other vitamin deficiency this the, uh, this is the example you can give if when someone asks you one vitamin deficiency give a deficiency of other vitamin so plp deficiency what is happening this uh, there is no conversion of 3-hydroxychenurin uh, into anthrolinic acid or quinolinic acid so further there is no formation of b3 or nad so what are all the factors involved in uh, not converting of 3-hydroxy 3-hydroxychenurin uh, uh, into 3-hydroxy anthrolinic acid so pyridoxal deficiency as i mentioned quinurin is not working so accumulated 3-hydroxychenurin converted to xanthurinic acid and excreted in urine so niacin deficiency causing it causes pellagra so b6 deficiency leads to niacin deficiency 60 milligrams of tryptophan equivalent to 1 mg of nicotinic acid 60 mg of tryptophan which is equivalent to 1 mg of nicotinic acid so tryptophan is also involved in making of water soluble vitamin b3 so that's all about the catabolism part of tryptophan thanks for watching thank you